Throughout the evening, Sat has been listening attentively to our grammar. However, how much has the audience been listening to what's been happening today? With that, I'd like to call upon the quiz master, Richard, on the stage. I came across a bit of research recently. It was comparing the memory of women in their... Twenties? Twenties. <laughs> Middle-aged women. <laughs> Middle-aged. I didn't use your crap word, of course. And middle-aged men. And do you know who had the better memory? Men. Women. 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 And I, I furiously disagreed with this, but I can't remember why I disagreed. <laughs> <laughs> However, what I'm going to do is put this to the test. I'm going to see if the women have better memories than, me, than the men. And so I will ask the question, I'm going to get a woman's answer and a man's answer, and we'll tot it up and see who has the better memory at the end of these six or seven or so questions. So, first question is, what knee was Tony kneeling on at the very beginning when Martin was introducing the club? What knee? The left or right? right. Hands up if you know the answer. We've got a right. right. Okay. Right. And what were you going to say? Left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was the uh, it was the right. Well done. Good observation. Fantastic. What was the Martin introduced the club? You've just given that as per the right answer. Martin was introducing the club, and he quoted somebody. Who was it? Hands up if you think you know. John Brown. He. <laughs> it wasn't John Brown. <laughs> Martin quoted somebody. He had three names, and who was that person? Can you remember? No. Well done, Olivia Weller Holmes. Well done. That's two to the women. Come on, guys. We need a heroic effort to bring this all back. How many changes were there this evening? Seven. Yes. Well done. There was actually six, but at the seventh was the time change when we were talked about Tony's speech. We brought it back by one. How high were the stones at Stonehenge? Thirty. Oh no, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty. Thirty. Two each. How many tons did they weigh? You can't answer this question. Six. Go on. Any other answers? What was it? How many tons did they weigh? No. How many no, no, we've got that right. There were 20. 20. There were 20. 20. Can <laughs> you say it? 20. Did you say 20? I no, said 20. No. You said 25. Okay. I said 25. I said 25. Oh, you said 25? I said 25. I got 20. I said 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 20. His third goal, he was missed. There was three goals he had to achieve. Got to three? No. Pay <laughs> rise. No. I'm nearly on red. Training. Better speaker? No. Oh, to use research uh, and information, no problem. We've got two more, and then we're going to have. It's two each, so we've got two, two more. <laughs> How many people were at Bobby's wedding? Don't ask this question. Go on. Thank you. Well done. We've got one. In. Come on. Two more questions to make it. Bobby's wedding. Right. Okay. Which act and scene? Did Tony's quote come Act from? Seven, yes. Act 72. Act 72. Act 72. What do you say? Act 72. Act 72. Act 72. Act 72. Thank you very much. Right, here goes that to the last question. We've got three each. Well done. Here we go. Act 2, scene 7. And the last question, you're three each. Last question, the first person who shouts it out. If you. I'll come to our Toastmasters, Hods, where do you go to get a kiss? Chantel! Yeah, Chantel! Thank you very much.